I'm Barry Laminack, and this isn't what happened in sports. Let's start with the NFL, where Dak Prescott suffered a broken ankle this past weekend during the Giants game, and Jerry Jones was reportedly so upset about the injury, he fired Dak's ankle. Jokes aside, get well soon, Dak. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said that all sports stadiums will be allowed to have full capacity going forward. However, it'll only be 50% capacity for your lungs. The news means fans can now fill Dolphin Stadium if they so choose. What a waste of a death. During a game against the Bears, Tom Brady appeared to have lost track of the downs, thinking it was third down when it was actually fourth down, thus effectively ending the game for the Bucks. Hey, to be fair, at his age, it's not uncommon to finish early. Eagles safety Nathan Gary was slammed for tweets he made in 2012 where he used the N-word. Gary apologized and said he made those tweets before he knew he was going to be rich and famous. The 49ers benched Jimmy Garoppolo, their $137 million quarterback this past weekend. Garoppolo was reportedly so upset by the benching that he ordered his personal butler to kick over the Gatorade bucket. From the world of the NBA, congratulations to the Los Angeles Lakers on winning the NBA title. The city of Los Angeles is so excited, even the cops stopped shooting people. For now. Coach Eric Spolstra of the Miami Heat was teary-eyed during his post-game interview after the team's loss to the Lakers. Spolstra told the media with tears in his eyes, I don't want to go home to my family. <laughs> Russell Westbrook left an $8,000 tip for housekeeping upon checking out of his hotel room in the NBA bubble. $8,000! That's like a dollar for every turnover he had. In other sports news, Wichita State basketball coach Greg Marshall is accused of punching a player and choking an assistant. This is the most a heel has done in Kansas since the Wizard of Oz. Think about it. Big news this weekend, apparently Texas is number one. <laughs> she looks like the mascot for pumpkin spice. In tennis news, Rafael Nadal won his 13th Grand Slam by beating Novak Djokovic at the French Open. Nadal has won more on French soil than the entire French army. The refs in the Auburn-Arkansas game blew a huge call on what appeared to be a backwards pass and fumble by Auburn that would end up costing Arkansas the game. Arkansas fans were so upset they sent several angry letters to the NCAA. Use your big words. Ole Miss coach Lane Kiffin joked that Nick Saban was, quote, his father, and based on his coaching record, I'm guessing Lane Kiffin gets his coaching acumen from his mom. Oh, look, it's the father, the son, and the Holy Ghost. And finally, WWE star Braun Strowman claimed that the syringe in his Instagram post was just a B12 shot. What? Well, there goes the sanctity of fake fighting. It looks like his Instagram account and his needles are unverified. Don't worry guys, he only acts like he injects himself. <laughs> I'm Barry Laminac, and that's not what happened in sports. <laughs>